What's going on guys? My name's Sodies. If you're new to my channel, please leave a like on this video and make sure to subscribe. I'm very close to 1,000 subscribers and I mean a lot. Thank you very much on the last video, by the way. On the 8.6. This is a really nice build if you guys want to make this car. I'll, li I'll leave the video link in the description for you guys to go make it. It's got the engine, everything, interior. And today we're going to be making Case K's Mazda RX-7. This is the stage 5 version. However, the car is a little bit what than everyone else expected. Um, but I'm going to try my best and see if you guys like this build today. Let's go ahead and get right into this. This car, I believe, goes for 1.8 mil. If I'm correct, I don't remember the trade price. Unfortunately. So we got no armor on. To keep the weight of the car off. Stock brakes, front bumpers. Now, the thing is about this version of the car for the Stage 5 car, that this doesn't have the pop-up headlights. However, the Banshee is like the only other thing that can represent close to this car. However, it doesn't really have the same customizations as the Mazda would. So, for the bumpers, it's kind of tricky on this one to try to replicate it. And with the whole ventilation in the front, I just decided to keep it stock. Rear bumpers, we have the rear diffuser. Engine block, we got stock engine. Air filters, secondary performance air intake. Strut brace, we have lightened racing strut brace. We have level 4 engine. And then there's no intercoolers. All the other intercoolers, I checked with the bumpers. I didn't really like how it was, and it's all black in the front anyway, so I just kept it the same. For this one, um, the exhausts are kind of weird on this car. As you can see, they're dual, and I really don't like how that is. Um, I went for street exhaust. You can do titanium if you want, but the blue kind of looks weird on the car, so I just kind of kept it street exhaust. We got primary front fenders. This, is, this gives the style of the car, because this is how his style of the car is in the fifth stage. However, you can make the first and the fourth stage of this car as well. You basically just have to take off all, um, just leave stock bumper and take off the, uh, what is it? The splitters. All right, so back to fenders. We're, about, we're on primary front fenders, and then you're gonna go down, and then you're gonna select primary rear fenders. This also kind of gives the car a little bit of a wider, you know, type of feel. Looks really nice. Stock headlights. We got hood pins. Now, the hood pins are in the front on the hood. Unfortunately, they're on the side of this on this car. So just select hood pins. So this one, you could either do the carbon, because I know he has a carbon fiber um, hood. You could either do that, or which one is it? Or you could do this. You could do cutting vented hood, or you could do carbon cutting vented hood. Either or, it's still going to look sick on the car. I'm just keeping carbon for now. Horn, your preference. Interior, dash, we have stock We have stock dash. Dials, they're stock. I don't think he has any boosters. He might, I don't remember. I'm just looking off pictures again. Stock doors. We have sport seats again. Now, like I was saying, I think he does have these kind of seats. I might put these seats in, but I'm not so sure. Because they just look weird in this kind of car, especially if it's a 90s feel. You know, you kind of want the, the basic 90s interior on a car. The straps just look way too funky. I mean, the cars in the actual show do have straps, but you guys can go for any of these seats. Whatever feels, you know, great to you. But I'm using sports seats. Oops. Steering wheels, I'm using the stock wheel. Um, I think... I think the Apex Basic is also another wheel that's similar to the, the fifth stage. For now, I'm just using stock wheel. Roll cage. Oh, there's no roll, no roll cage. 
lights. Now, um, my headlight color is different. You guys can either go to the LS Car Meet place and customize your lights there. You have a lot of more, uh, more of a like variety of colors, or you can go to your arena, uh, arena, arena war garage, and go to the shop and get the white lights. There's white lights on this car, the white headlights. No livery. Unfortunately, there is no type of Red Suns livery. Like, there's this, but there's no, like, thing on the, uh, the rear fender. I mean, if you want, you could put this in, make it blend in with the carbon, but it's just gonna look funky. Unless you just do black, a black, um, hood, but... I have no livery on. No louvers. Stock mirrors. Plate, the uh, blue on white one, give it that 90s feel. And then I just have a custom plate that says KSK's name on it. Respray, primary color. You guys want to set this to race yellow. And that's in classic. Then secondary classic, race yellow as well. Trim color, you're going to set to black steel. Now, I don't remember what the actual um, seats, like the color of the seats were. I know his his first stage and on, it was like a bright reddish, like orange, I think. If I can remember, it was something like this or something like this. I mean, if you want, you can put these seats in. I'm just going off pictures. For now, I just have black steel. I think he does have black seats. I can't remember. Accent color is orange. Stock roof. Competition skirts. Carbon street splitter. So the spoilers are kind of tricky on this car. This kind of spoiler that he has in the fifth stage isn't high like this. However, if you want to make the first like, you know, stage of his car, like in the first stage, second stage, third stage. Just give it a spoiler like this. You can also put this one if you want. It just looks too funky. But, you know, the way that his splitter is, it's like this. It gives it that style. So, um, tuner spoiler. No sun strips. There's street suspension. Or you can do stock. I know some people don't really, they don't really care about the suspension. Tail lights. This is so weird. It looks cool though. I have stock. Race to, uh, race transmission. Turbo tuning. Wheel type. Uh, we're gonna go to sport. Stock rims. Endo V2. And then we're gonna go to dark copper wheel color. Now gold does look good with this too. But dark copper kind of gives it the feel into the yellow. Like a dark mustard. Light smoke windows. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a really great rest of your day and I hope you guys enjoyed this car build. I wasn't really making, like expecting to make car builds on this channel, but this update, I'm a huge fan of Initial D. It's one of my favorite animes, but make sure to leave a like on this video, share this with your friends, and let me know if you have any questions about the build. Hope you have a good day. Make sure to like, subscribe, probably said that a million times already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.